Hello. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look into 2023 specimen paper 2 and task 4 in that paper presentation. Okay, let's begin. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. So for presentation, we want the PowerPoint to be open. Create a presentation of six slides using the file sp02 about. So let's import this file here. New slides. Slides from outline. Find, locate your folder. And find for the file sp02 about. Insert. You will have the file imported here as slides. So here we have seven slides. The first slide is an empty slide. So delete the slide and make sure you only have six slides. Okay. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Make sure. Unless and otherwise it's instructed to change the formatting, you will not change the formatting. All slides must have a title with the bullets. Use a master slide to display only the following features. It has to be only these features. So go to view tab, slide master, and make sure it is on the first slide you're editing. We don't need the date, delete off the date. You need automatic slide numbers on the top right. So the hashtag box is for slide number, resize it and move it to the top right and insert the slide number insert header and footer check the box for slide number and you also need name center number and candidate number tick footer and type in your name center number followed by your candidate number and choose apply to all okay next now we'll go out of master slide slide master tab close master view so you will have the slide number with your footer on all the slides so you just have to make sure the master slide items appear on the same position of every slide and it should not overlap on any slide so you just have to double check that okay next format slide one with a title slide layout with a title and subtitle centered in the middle of the slide so right click on slide one layout choose title slide theme so that the title and the subtitle comes to the center next on the slide with the title marketing find for the slide with the title marketing Demote the four bulleted items after the text dedicated marketing manager so that they look like this. Okay, so highlight those four. One, two, three, four. Highlight them and you'll have to change the bullets to be a hyphen. So go to the bullet list. You don't have a hyphen here. So click on bullets and numbering. Again, we don't find it here. So let's customize click on the customized button and choose a hyphen find for a hyphen here okay there we have it choose a hyphen and click ok and click ok again so those four list becomes a hyphen and it has to be moved away from the margin left margin so tab key once on the keyboard and apply italic next use the data in the file sp02 sales to create a vertical bar chart okay the file is open here this is the file you'll have to create a vertical bar chart okay to create a vertical bar chart to compare the sales of yachts by size for only the year 2021 
okay so only for year 2021 by size you will have to in create a vertical bar chart insert recommended charts choose a vertical bar chart which is clustered column you get the chart there display with labels the yard length on category axis and the number sold on value axis so let's label all that the chart title super yard sales 2021 super it's a same word sales 2021 and then value axis and category axis to get the axis titles click on chart elements tick axis titles so the value axis is number sold number sold and then category axis title length in meters in bracket meters close the bracket okay now next display only the values as data labels above each bar so click on chart elements and tick data labels next do not display a legend make sure there is no legend here if you find any legend untick legend here next format the value axis okay the value axis is this right click on it format axis and there you have it minimum they say the value has to be zero maximum 120 minimum is already zero maximum change to 120 and then increments change it to 15 increment is major change it to 15 next so before we place the chart let's change this data it has to display the size so right click select data edit highlight the title which you want to appear on the chart click ok ok now copy the chart and place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title sales so open powerpoint on the sales slide move the content to the right and place the chart there on the left make sure the chart is clearly visible no words must be split make sure the words are not split and then all data and labels are fully visible the chart and its content do not overlap any slide items okay it shouldn't overlap any of the items in this slide next on the slide the title are services our services is slide three format the text yard charters so that when clicked it goes to the slide with the title sales okay so here yard charters that is you'll highlight this when you click on it it has to take you to the sales slide so highlight the data that is yard charters right click you're creating a hyperlink hyperlink link insert a link choose insert a link or if you have hyperlink just click on hyperlink and you want the link to be placed in the same document so click on place in this document and choose the slide number we want it to be on slide 5 which is sales so you will have to provide a screenshot of this so take a screenshot print screen and then click ok so this becomes a hyperlink so you will have to place this in your evidence let me open the evidence file here so paste it in your evidence here under evidence 9 and crop the picture enlarge the picture okay next step 
save the presentation. You'll have to save it and print all the slides as handouts with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. So to print all the slides, file, print, set it to be print all slides and then choose the number of slides in a page. We need it to be two slides. So set it to be two. So you will have three pages printed, all six together. And finally, you will have to print the evidence document. So once completed, you will have to print your evidence document. File, print, choose the correct printer and print your evidence document. That's the end of this paper. I hope that was clear. See you guys in, in another video with a new paper. Thank you. Bye-bye.